Hello, everybody. I'm originally from Hong Kong. I'm Paul Fong. Yeah, you can call me an artist, a designer, or a businessman. The people will confuse who I am. When I'm in an art exhibition, people may say, Paul Fong is a designer. This is business-oriented. When I'm doing design, doing my product, people will say, Paul Fong is an artist who knows nothing about design. When I'm doing business, people may say, Paul Fong, business is totally different from design. You are better to get a job first. Yeah, maybe I should get a job from a, for a company, have a huge of saving, and then graduate from a famous overseas design school. But I only remember what my parents to told me. Be responsible for the choices you make. Yeah, I did it. I always the school latecomer over doing homework all the time. I spent years to finish my university degree that people usually do. And then um, I live in every day. People may say, this is loose in Hong Kong nowadays. Man is born free, but everywhere is the yak. I want to break the yak, but I don't know what to do, who I am, what I can do. I know any specific perfection, then I think I can be an artist. As a fact graduate student, it's simple to think. Artist is just simply do nothing, but that's not, not true. Um, I think, um, sorry, <laughs> that's not true, because I want to, uh, I, I should make my life, um, but what I can do, I have no force behind me to force me to do something. So um, maybe if you ask the children what to do, what's his dream, maybe this is difficult, but you ask what he don't want to do, but maybe this is, this is more easy. So I ask myself what I don't want to do. People may ask me, perform why you start up your business, you're never a softaholic and you even don't buy anything. Yeah, maybe. And I think all the product that exists in the market is just showing off the privilege level. I think uh, the, all the luxury fashion item or maybe some famous label wash is showing off the wealth and the status of the user. When I'm children, uh, my, my cast may using the color monitor uh, Samsung or Ericsson, and I just using the Nokia. I think they're just showing off to me. Yeah, so when I have the chance to make my own products, I try to use some materials people think this is insignificant. This is useless, low value. I found the bottle caps from the, from the small shop in Hong Kong community, upcycling become a contemporary bangle. You hardly to see what it is. You hardly to recognize what it is. This, it could, this is representing some culture or just the small shop in Hong Kong nowadays is vanishing or gradually disappear. And then the item, the elements from our daily life, the car wheels, and make it become a ring. Also the elements from old housing estate become a bangle iron gate, or also the water pipe from the back street become a bangle too. And, and the senior told me, uh, Paul Fong, you're better to make the advertisement, uh, maybe showing a girl wearing your jewelry and feeling full of happiness. Yeah, maybe if a product can project different kind of imagination, maybe um, various of uh, style, maybe it's easy for promotion. But for me, I find another type of road to make my things. I try to produce all the product locally in Hong Kong and try to make all the product in type rather than style. Yeah, that's been, I use different material technique and equipment for each product. I spend longer time to, for making each of them. I cooperate with, cooperate with the local craftsmen and the neighbor from the community and also my own team. I spend years to learning craftsmanship metal while making jewelry. I want my product to become a classic rather than just a trendy. That's one of my product. In the past, Hong Kong has a lot of jewelry, making jewelry or jade. But nowadays, most of them move to ship to uh, mainland China. I find at least one remains. So I asked him to make some jade work to me, and I can apply on my jewelry. This is a kind of kinetic jewelry. After the hard time to turn, turning to the survival in Hong Kong, I find if you open a door, there are still thousands of cold stores waiting for you. As a creator in Hong Kong, we are facing the difficulty 
that high rank, rental fee and also the uh, monopoly uh, market, yeah. And then um, there's a lot of uh, luxury shops in Hong Kong city center nowadays, and also four to five medical shops in our old housing estate. People may say, that's ju just the normal adjustment of the market. People may say, if the market can learn more, that means every single individual can take advantage from that eventually. Is that right? I don't really agree. Two years ago, I went in a, a studio in Fort Han, my own, and then uh, one day a, a great good trader come next to me. He, uh, every day he go to and from to ship the baby milk formula and some goods. And then after a period of time, more and more great good trader come next to me. And one day I was asked to give 30% more rental fee. I was forced to quit. It is the economy that good, really. I'm sure I'm not the one enjoying it. Yeah, after that, people start to think, yeah, the mainstream economy may be not right, not good. They think hemi product may be the, the way to against the mainstream market. Every product with a tech of handmade will become the hot topic. People, we, could, we can, they can gain the focus from the media and the customers maybe without any rational, we think. As a creator in Hong Kong, I th I'm thinking, are we just struggling to have a way apart from the mainstream economy or just falling to the mainstream without any choices? If all the creation just divides into a binary way, who you still care about the culture, the craftsmanship, the quality of goods, and so on. So I think if a designer or artist just thinking negatively, what we should not do is not enough to regain our autonomy. And also we should regain our control to our life. When all the people working for the privilege level, and why don't we just thinking about to do something for the majority ordinary people. Last year, I, me and three other artists walked into a Tokwa Wen, a local community. And we worked together with the local people. Each of us chose one materials. I chose Mac, um, metal can as our materials because um, every year, especially in Asian country society like Hong Kong, we generate ton tons of uh, metal can after festival, for example, Mid Moon Festival, uh, Chinese New, New Year's. And then uh, most of them will be shipped to landfill, and some of them, only some of them, will be used as a storage box as our home. My idea is just upgrade a little bit the functionality of the storage boxes. I add a hinge lock there, and then the intimacy is increased immediately. The elderly love it very much. They can keep their secret love letter inside, and also some chairs uh, like Jake inside. Another one is a wank, but it actually is packed in a tiny little boxes, just like you buy a product from Ikea. You can assemble it yourself. And then you just feel free to put any box that you found on it and become a wank. This help you to saving the space of storage. At the end of last year, um, we come together to work for the promotion of our exhibition. We try to pin make the information on a, a final uh, leaflet and poster. We found some political poster and some activity poster we found in Pokwa Wen. We found that's interesting that the old and new contest has some kind of constant. That means the, they are both made in Pokwa Wen. I think as a designer, we are not just making something innovative and stunning, but we are making something good for the society. Um, during the Nongli Liu year uh, last year, uh, this year, and uh, we fill in some food in the storage boxes and give uh, with the volunteer and give them to the homeless people and then the nursing homes nearby to Wen. I saw the full of happiness. I think as a designer sometimes, we should minimize our desire, minimize our, our desire factor on a project and let it be. So we're going to in invite the people to join us, make them become the part of the community, but just not living there. 
when um, people uh, tell you this is stupid to start up your business, business in Hong Kong nowadays, and you can deny with action. When people tell you the, uh, the market should learn all the money, then maybe you can take some advantage from that. Finally, you can say no. But what if your built-in perception tells you that only one choice is in the world, only one voice you should follow? What will happen? So I create a series of jewelry to answer this, that question. On the left-hand side, uh, this is the paper currency in Hong Kong. It's showing a combination lock. This, this is a cultural symbol. Uh, people say you, this is, you should uh, responsive to the cultural symbol. This represents our identity. Is that right? I try to eliminate, uh, I try to take off all the ornaments and form from this, and only to uh, reconstruct the, the structure uh, rationally, and only the functionality left behind, and it's still our identity. Chinese people think uh, Jake represent uh, intact. Intact means perfect. And I'm showing you that if a jade broken, it still become two pieces. This is two pieces of ir irreplaceable individual, and this still look good. This is a pair of bangles. And then we are an autonomy being, and we are feel free to go wherever we want. We are flexible, but what if we are limited our body movement into only one way, something like nuping. <laughs> I do a series of art pieces like that. Um, people still asking me who I am, what am I, which is my identity. I will say uh, there's no any conflict, and they are parallel. We are living in a multicultural society. The only one thing we should do is be a rational individual, be responsible for your choices, and then do right thing for the society. Thank you.